John Stones, who nearly departed City in 2020, has experienced a renaissance in a fresh and innovative hybrid midfield position crafted by Guardiola. Not only did this unexpected change in role turn Stones' career around, but it also might have been the missing piece in Guardiola's puzzle. Let's explore how this switch has contributed to City's remarkable achievements. Pep Guardiola's unwavering passion for constant innovation, even at the risk of defeat, remains unparalleled. His refusal to field a traditional number six in the starting lineup led to his loss in the 2021 UEFA Champions League final. However, his recent innovation has worked out to perfection, with center back John Stones being asked to play in the midfield. Over the past six years, John Stone has experienced fluctuations in form and injuries, preventing him from becoming a vital component of the team. Despite the presence of Ruben Diaz, Emerick Laporte, Nathan Aki, and Manuel Akanji in the squad, Stones earned Guardiola's trust at the beginning of the current season. However, as has often been the case of his career, injuries once again disrupted his ability to play consistently throughout the season. At one point, it seemed likely that he would miss the upcoming World Cup in Qatar. Yet he managed to make a full recovery and participate in all five games of the tournament. Returning from the World Cup with newfound form and confidence, Stones fell victim once more to the hamstring injury that had plagued him throughout the season. However, it was during this time that Guardiola envisioned a different role for Stones. In today's game, we've noticed that the players' positions and roles are becoming more flexible. Teams adopt different formations when they have or don't have the ball. We've also seen fullbacks move into midfield from their usual position. But what's relatively new to us is the confusion over whether a player is a center back or a central midfielder. This uncertainty really highlights how unique John Stone's new role is at Manchester City. When future generations reflect on this particular Manchester City version, several notable aspects will stand out. Erling Holland will likely be the first to catch their attention. The presence of skillful wide players such as Riyad Mahrez, Jack Grealish and Bernardo Silva, who can dictate the tempo, will be another defining characteristic. Additionally, City's relentless pressing and counter-pressing tactics will be recognized as a prominent feature. The clutch performances of Kevin De Bruyne and E.K. Gundogan will certainly be remembered, as with City's approach of fielding four solid defenders behind Rodri. City's back four has proven to be a formidable force, consistently delivering solid defensive displays and excelling in winning duels and second balls. At the heart of this defensive strength lies John Stones. His exceptional ball-playing ability has enabled him to take on a hybrid role, defending as part of a back four when City is without the ball and partnering with Rodri as a double pivot in front of City's back three when they are in possession. But John Stone's contributions go beyond that. He has demonstrated a keen ability to make intelligent off-ball runs, finding the right spaces within the opponent's defensive formations, and has shown a willingness to carry the ball forward when necessary. As mentioned in our previous video, if you haven't watched it yet, you can find the link in the description. A notable trend in top-level football this season is the increasing use of a box midfield by several possession-oriented elite teams. The main advantage of employing four midfielders in this formation is the numerical superiority it provides in the middle of the pitch. Pressing systems that rely on man-marking are forced to adapt, resulting in a distortion of their defensive shape and the creation of spaces for other attackers to exploit. Guardiola's City, unsurprisingly at the forefront of this box midfield revolution, has a distinct approach that sets them apart, particularly in recent times. Previously, Guardiola achieved this shape by moving a fullback into a central position. Initially, Alexander Zinchenko or Joao Cancelo would often invert their positions to occupy more central areas. However, we now witness Manchester City starting matches without traditional fullbacks, instead of opting for three and sometimes even four center backs in their defensive line. Among these defenders, it is John Stones who is granted the freedom to step from the back line and provide an additional presence during the team's build-up phase. The remaining three defenders then contract to form a solid back three. This approach has proven to be highly effective for City and presents a challenge for their rivals, who struggle to replicate it due to Stone's unique standout abilities. For example, this tactical adjustment was really successful in their FA Cup victory over United. 
The team initially set up in their usual 3-2 formation during build-up, but Manchester United aimed to surprise them with their pressing approach. However, United encountered difficulties due to John Stone's intelligent positioning and his continuous runs from deeper positions. The England defender demonstrated awareness of the spaces opening up around him and frequently sought to exploit them. Stones recently disclosed two crucial pieces of advice that Guardiola provided to aid his development. He explained, I believe that in this unique position, spatial awareness is vital. I have had to learn and adapt in terms of understanding when I can receive the ball. Body positioning and timing are particularly important in this midfield role. The manager has simplified it for me, and my focus is on implementing what he has taught me. And indeed, Stone excels at executing those instructions. Let's examine, for instance, the turn under pressure during the final. When receiving the ball from the center back, two notable aspects are evident, his calmness and body orientation. Rather than rushing, Stones patiently waits for Fred to close him down, swiftly executing a 180-degree turn to evade the pressure. This truly exemplifies his composure, spatial awareness, and confidence with the ball at his feet. Following the FA Cup final triumph, Guardiola praised the English international as an incredible player, and it's hard to dispute that assessment, considering the proficiency he demonstrates in possession. Pep Guardiola has a track record for transforming defenders into midfielders, as demonstrated during his successful tenure at Bayern Munich. He shifted Philip Lahm and later Joshua Kimmich into the midfield, both of whom thrived in their new roles. Later at City, he utilized fullbacks Kyle Walker and Joao Cancelo by having them tuck into the midfield when the team was in possession. However, John Stones is the first center back to undergo this transition, and it's easy to understand why. In terms of technical ability, there may not be a better defender in the entire Premier League than Stones. Moreover, the Englishman is a tireless worker who can maintain a high tempo throughout the entire match. When you combine this with his proficiency in high-pressing situations, it results in a world-class number 6 player. In the Premier League this season, no City player has surpassed his remarkable pass success rate of 93%. Opta statistics also revealed that throughout the season, Stones has miscontrolled the ball on just 8 occasions and has been dispossessed only 4 times. His exceptional ball control has been a major headache for opponents as he ventures forward from the defense. They can't afford to give him the freedom on the ball, but their attempts to close him down result in defensive structures unraveling, creating spaces that City's attacking midfielders effectively exploit. Stones' impact on City goes beyond his ball-playing abilities. His new role has significantly bolstered their team's defensive solidity as well. When City commits numerous players forward in attacking moves, which has previously left them susceptible to counterattacks, Stone's presence becomes crucial. In the past, when possession was lost, the inverted fullback would have a greater distance to cover as they retreated to the wider position. However, now Stones makes shorter vertical movements to quickly drop back into a central position, effectively transforming the defensive trio into a resilient quartet. Not content with just being one of the top players in the Premier League and delivering a standout performance in the FA Cup Final, John Stones once again elevated his game during the Champions League Final. His positioning during the game in Istanbul became a major talking point. In typical fashion, Stones moved forward into midfield, but what stood out was his decision to do so from the right side of the back four rather than from his usual centre-back position. Stones' overall performance in the final had its ups and downs. He displayed excellence in controlling Ederson's long passes, helping to keep possession and recycling the ball time and time again. Moreover, in this game, John Stones exhibited impressive dribbling skills, surpassing six opponents, a feat unmatched in the Champions League final since Leo Messi's performance in 2015. However, it is important to acknowledge that Stones is ultimately not a number 8 player or a creative midfielder. While he is comfortable in possession when in deep positions, he may feel slightly uneasy when operating in the final third, where creativity and interplay are essential. Despite this, there were numerous commendable aspects of Stones' performance, and a few center backs in world football could execute this hybrid role with such confidence. Nevertheless, Guardiola's shift towards feeding multiple center backs does have implications for creativity and fluidity in the attacking third. Although this was not City's finest technical display of the season, 
It encapsulated their overall campaign well. Guardiola's decision to prioritize center backs marks a significant departure from his previous approach of deploying midfielders in defensive positions. However, the utilization of stones in this hybrid role ensured that City remained captivating to watch, as they have consistently been. When reflecting on City's incredible achievements, there will be plenty to admire and analyze about the team. Yet the contribution of John Stones should be considered one of the most influential factors in their success. And of course, Guardiola's new formation did fit Stones perfectly. Not only that, it's also the tactical setup most managers are trying to copy. Check out why in this video next.